Well, good morning. Uh, it's great to be here today uh, as we break into June and we have the opportunity to celebrate a historic moment of time for the city of Costa Mesa and the Costa Mesa Fire and Rescue Department. Um, very special to the extent that we're, we are going to be receiving a check today to help rebuild Costa Mesa Fire and Rescue Regional Training Facility here in the heart of Costa Mesa. And it's so special, a facility that's, that's been near and dear to us uh, at the local level, and now we're turning it into a regional training facility, uh, a facility that is over 50 years old, first built in 1967 along with a fire station. And, uh, and so a lot has gone into this today. Uh, but before we kick off, I, I wanted to just introduce a few of the individuals who are going to speak. After I speak, we'll have some comments, and that'll be followed with a check presentation. Uh, we have Assemblymember Cotty Petrie Norris that's here today, who is our, our keynote. We have Mayor John Stevens, who will be speaking, Councilmember Arliss Reynolds, and City Manager Lorianne Farrell Harrison. So as, as I finish my remarks, I'm going to pass it off to the Assembly Member, but I, I just want to, on behalf of the entire Costa Mesa Fire and Rescue Department, say thank you. We're so grateful in this partnership. Uh, and today is, is special as well. Uh, we talk about a regional training facility. Uh, Costa Mesa works as the heart uh, of the area within Orange County with all of our partners, the Orange County Fire Chiefs Association and all of our neighboring departments. And so the goal of this facility is as we rebuild to have a, a high technology upgraded facility that allows for training in the safest manner possible, taking into consideration environment, environmental concerns and providing an opportunity for our regional partners to join, as well as the partnership we have at the state level uh, with Cal OES. Uh, today, we have five strike teams that are coming back from New Mexico uh, after serving over the course of the past two weeks uh, as part of the Master Mutual Aid, the EMAC program that works as part of the nation's Master Mutual Aid system. Uh, and the backdrop here, you see some of the Cal OES apparatus, but that partnership with the state is so, so important. And we've had a, a glorious and, and, and certainly a, uh, an appreciated relationship at the state level. Assemblymember Cotty Pitre Norris has been a phenomenal partner for the city of Costa Mesa and for the Orange County Fire Service and really the California Fire Service, having worked with Assemblymember on a number of things at the local level to the state level. So we're very grateful for today. Uh, we look forward to this facility being rebuilt. We anticipate the conceptual plans to be completed at the end of this year and breaking ground in 2023. And again, we'll certainly keep everyone updated, but we are just uh, greatly appreciative for this moment in time and this historic moment in time for the city of Costa Mesa. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Assemblymember Cotty Petra Norris. And again, with our, with our grateful appreciation for all that she has done and continues to do, not just for Costa Mesa, but for the region and for the state. Assemblymember Petra Norris. Well, good morning and uh, thank you so much, Chief Stefano. Uh, and thank you for hosting us today. Really uh, thrilled to be part of today's announcement uh, of the revitalization and, and rebuilding of the Costa Mesa Regional Fire and Rescue Training Facility. Uh, it's June 3rd, it's only June 3rd, um, but wildfire season is already upon us. And over the course of the last several years, we have witnessed the most catastrophic, the deadliest, the most destructive wildfire seasons in history. And we know, we know that it is just going to keep getting worse. The stakes right here in our own backyard could not be higher. With the threat of fire always looming, one of my top priorities when I was, was very first elected to the State Assembly in 2018 uh, was to ensure that we support our first responders, that we invest in innovative strategies to fight wildfires, and to ensure that our first responders have the resources, the equipment, and the training to do the job that our community desperately needs. I've been able to uh, work, and I've been honored to work with your Chief Stefano and also with the Orange County Fire Authority to secure state resources to enable us to better protect our community. With the rollout of FIRUS, the Fire Integrated Real-Time Intelligence System, uh, I'm really proud to say that I do believe Southern California is better prepared this year than ever. Uh, but we certainly recognize that there is much more to do. Uh, and when I sat down with Chief Stefano last year, um, learned that the training facility here in Costa Mesa 
uh, that our region relies on so desperately really is in need of an upgrade. Um, as, as the chief said, this facility is more than 50 years old. And um, like many of us who are approaching or, or just cresting 50, we, we certainly could use a little revitalization and uh, a little bit of rebuilding. Um, and so I knew that I wanted to be part of bringing this project to per to fruition and really pleased to be able to announce today that uh, after working with Governor Newsom's office and with uh, leaders in the state assembly, we were able to secure $2.5 million in state funding in order to revitalize the Costa Mesa Regional Fire uh, Rescue and Training Facility. This new investment will fund new structures, upgraded training grounds, and enhanced environmental features. We all know that wildfires are no longer just a seasonal threat. They are a year-round threat. And as the chief said, this facility is, is important for Costa Mesa. It's a, important for the residents of Costa Mesa. It's also important for all of the residents of Orange County. So I want to just close by saying thank you to Chief Stefano for your vi vision uh, and for your leadership here in the city of Costa Mesa and really statewide. Um, and I also want to say a thank you to our first responders, to those brave men and women who risk their lives each and every day to protect our communities and to protect our families. Uh, I am 100% committed to ensuring that you have the tools and the resources to ensure that you can do your job as safely as possible. So uh, I am really proud to work alongside you. I'm proud to fight for you in Sacramento and um, proud to stand with you today as we make this exciting announcement. So with that, I'm really pleased to welcome Costa Mesa City Manager. Please join me in welcoming Lorianne Farrell Harrison. Good morning and thank you to Assemblymember Cotty Petrie Norris for her incredible leadership, her dedication and commitment to this region, to the city of Costa Mesa. It's not every day that a city receives millions of dollars to rebuild and to renovate its facilities. I can say that in my 30 year career in government, there are very, very few instances of Sacramento actually being able to provide this level of funding for a local jurisdiction that needs these types of resources in order to provide the best services that we can to the citizens of Costa Mesa, the residents, the visitors, our tourists, and the community at large. I just want to thank the assembly member for her leadership and being courageous and fighting for what we need here in Costa Mesa, but also throughout Orange County to be able to provide top rate, top notch training facilities to the men and women that are putting their lives on the line every single day in a number of different instances. California is unique in that we struggle from a variety of different calamities. We have wildfires, we have uh, earthquakes, as you know, there could always be a tsunami, there are floods, there are landslides, and our fire and rescue teams are deployed not just within our city boundaries, but throughout the entire state of California and even most recently a neighboring state. And so we're just so thrilled and I'm just so happy on behalf of all of the city's employees and uh, just our council and mayor will be making some comments shortly, but I'm just so happy that we're able to receive this funding and that we'll be putting it to good use and give our first responders the training facilities that they so desperately need to provide cutting edge services to everybody in the region. And so, uh, Assembly Member, thank you so much for your leadership. I know that this is the second contribution that's come to the city of Costa Mesa that's in the millions. and. Uh, I don't think we've had that in decades in the region coming from Sacramento, and so thank you for that. I know that you also gave a million dollars to Lions Park, which is a park that's heavily used and right at the heart of our city, and it's made an extraordinary difference for the families all throughout the city. And also we have visitors from neighboring cities as well. And so thanks again for your commitment and leadership. Thank you to our Chief Stefano for being a voice of, of reason in times of distress and uh, during the pandemic, also being a, a strong advocate through Cal Chiefs as well, and putting together a real fabric of equipment and technology and now facilities that we need to be able to provide cutting edge services to our residents. And so I'm gonna turn it over to our incredible and amazing Mayor John Stevens, who is a staunch supporter of our employees, but the community as well. 
and it's just been an honor and pleasure to work with him and I know he's central to these efforts as well and making sure that we have a great collaboration at the local and the state level when we're seeing examples of how different layers of government throughout the country are not coordinating and can have catastrophic effects I'm proud to say that in the city of Costa Mesa we have an incredible relationship at the local county and state level and a lot of that is due to the leadership at the city and so thank you Mayor Stevens for your leadership and with that I'm going to turn it over to him. Thank you, Lorianne. Yes, uh, I'm John Stevens, the incredible, amazing mayor of the great city of Costa Mesa. And I'm so proud and, and honored to be here on this day. Um, I remember, so as I was sitting here and just uh, looking at the scene, I, I, I was taken back to 2017 when we made remarks at the groundbreaking of Station 1. Fire Station 1, which is now a complete and beautiful station. And I do remember we didn't have this robust podium. We had a little podium. We did the best we could back then with the facilities we had. But I remember talking about what our assets are at the city, our assets. And we have the physical assets, of course, that we're talking about here today. But the most important asset we have in the city of Costa Mesa is our employees. And in particular, here today, we're addressing our fire and rescue department. All the fire professionals, many of them are behind us, and we've got the leadership of uh, Chief Stefano. They're really the great assets that we have, and I can tell you that we have the best in the city of Costa Mesa. And so we owe it to them to provide the very best facilities. And, and if I'm being honest, it's, it, it, we shouldn't have to wait, what is it, 60, 1967 that this was built? I was four years old it, it, when this was built. So that was 55 years ago, if my math is correct. It shouldn't take that long. We need to do better in the city of Costa Mesa in providing the physical facilities for the great employees, particularly here, our firefighters and our fire professionals. And so, we have to have collaboration with our partners. And in 2018, um, we were fortunate enough to ha have elected um, uh, Cotty Petrie Norris as our assembly member. And it's true that it's unprecedented. In the, whole, uh, in the whole history of Costa Mesa and the whole history of this assembly district, we've really never had a true advocate, somebody who goes up and says, what do you need? What's in the best interests of the people of the city of Costa Mesa? And how can I help you? And so we're very blessed to have Cotty Petrie Norris up representing us in Sacramento as our advocate because she can bring back checks that are put to good use to keep our firefighters safe. And that's what this is all about. We are putting our firefighters and our fire professionals at harm's way on a daily basis, and especially it's getting worse with the wildfires. As I think uh, the chief mentioned, we had a crew of firefighters that went to New Mexico. They were gone from their families for two weeks, and we owe it to them. The city council, the state legislature, everybody who has an opportunity owes it to these fire professionals that put themselves at risk for our families to have the very best facilities, the best training facilities, to keep them safe and to let them do the job to the best of their abilities. This is a step in the right direction, but it's not the last step. We have a long way to go in the city of Costa Mesa, and together we're going to get there. And I, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to, uh, uh, I think, call up the great, great the incredible, the, um, I'm not going to say amazing, the, the, the spectacular uh, council member of the great District 5 in the city of Costa Mesa, Arliss Reynolds. Thank you and, and good morning. I, I came here this morning because I wanted to express my gratitude really to, to everyone here, to our, our mayor, of course, 
who um, really helps to advocate for our city and works on those relationships with our um, our state assembly member and our, our Congress members to make sure that the, the residents of Costa Mesa benefit. I want to thank our city manager who leads our incredible team of employees at Costa Mesa and is making sure that we focus on rebuilding the facilities and infrastructure that both our staff and residents need. Um, of course, I want to thank Assemblymember Cotty Petrie Norris. I think this is at least the third time she's brought a check to Costa Mesa that's going to substantially benefit our residents. We heard Lions Park a couple years ago. She has worked incredibly hard on securing funds for Banning Ranch, while not in Costa Mesa will be a huge asset to our community. And then, of course, today, additional dollars for our fire department and our fire department. Everybody loves a fire truck. Everybody loves a firefighter. And it's because those are the people that in our most dire need, the most uh, desperate circumstances, we know that we can depend on our Costa Mesa Fire Department. So I'm so excited to see these funds here to help rebuild our, our station and our training facilities. This is a facility that trains not only our firefighters, but our residents who serve on our Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT. And we also have a program where our high school students train, so we're building a pipeline of, of people who will serve as firefighters and medics in the future. So I'm, I'm thrilled today to be here to celebrate with everyone and, and want to thank everyone involved. Thank you so much. Well, thank you again. Uh, again, as we close out the remarks, we'll have the check presentation, but I did want to just offer up one more time the thanks that we have. Nothing happens uh, in a vacuum. Nothing happens but with one individual. The team that we have is incredible. Our professional men and women who serve, some that are here with us today, I just wanted to say thank you for the incredible work they do 24 7 365. Our, our brothers and sisters in blue, public safety partners, our city partners, and the city team that we have. We have representatives today from the city manager's office. I look at Alma Reyes out there who played a big role in, in helping bring this together. Uh, I see Song out there in our, our, our public works department. Everything that we do is part of the larger team. So a big thanks to the city team uh, that made it happen. Obviously, led by uh, Lorianne Farrell-Harrison, her leadership has been incredible. And, and the team that we have together as an executive team is something we haven't seen in quite some time. And then to be in alignment with our city council and the mayor and the support that we get on a regular basis. We're so grateful for that. So please, a, a big round of applause and thanks for. And then lastly, a, a final thank you one more time, just to say thank you to the assembly member, Cody Petrie Norris, again, who's been an, an incredible partner, partner for us in Costa Mesa as a city, as a fire department and statewide. Thank you so much. Historic moment in time. And with that, we'll conclude remarks. We'll be available uh, afterwards for, uh, for different interviews, but we are going to move the podium and have a check presentation right behind us. Again, thank you very much. Thank you.